Okay, here's it's my small apiary here at the house. I got seven hives here, and I just got done inspecting them. They're all doing real good, and you can see in the background I got two of them over there. And on this end one here, number four, I built this observation window. As you can see right there. And I'll tell you, that thing works pretty nice. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I got this little screw right here that I use as a handle. A couple brass hinges. This way you can see what your bees are doing. You don't really have to even open the hive. You can just see it all right through that observation. I'd like to get one of these windows on every one of my beehives. If nothing else, just on the on the deep boxes. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, coming up in the next video here, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. If anybody's interested in making one of these observation windows, and they're so simple to make that it isn't even funny it just doesn't take much and it takes probably 30 minutes to make one but anyway and then you just put that old piece of board back on there like that shut it up and he'll be good for winter time so stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done thank you okay for today's project all we're gonna be using here is just a plain old jigsaw just a black and decker jigsaw and then I've just got a cordless drill here and I've got a 3 8 drill bit into it and the drill bit just has to be wide enough so that we can turn the saw blade inside the drill hole and that's about all we need and then just a regular screwdriver okay now the first thing I need to do I got my pencil here and I've got just a piece of lumber here I'm going to be using it's two inches wide thickness doesn't matter I'm just going to use it as a guide what we're going to do is I'm just going to line that edge up bottom of the brood box and we're just going to draw a nice square there the same over here and we'll be right through just on the top side of where that handhold starts in do the same thing on this edge As you can see now we've got our nice square that we're going to cut out for our observation window. The next thing we need to do is take our drill with our 3 8 drill bit. We need to drill four corners so that we can go ahead and cut that out with a jigsaw. You want to bring it in just a little bit so that the edges of the drill bit are just touching the sides of the box. Okay, now that we got our holes drilled, and the reason we use the 3 8 bit is so, as you can see, we can turn a 360 degree corner in this hole so we can manipulate the jigsaw through that drill hole. And then we're going to go ahead and just cut right along here with our jigsaw. We'll cut this square box out 
and then we'll insert our piece of pre-cut plexiglass in behind here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and cut this line out here with the jigsaw. Get this box and just take your time on this. Just go slow. Make sure everything's nice and, and straight. I went down to the hardware store yesterday and got this piece. It's just regular plexiglass. It's an eighth of an inch thick and I had them cut that at eight and seven eighths, eight and three quarters of an inch tall by 14 and seven eighths or 14 and three quarters inches long and that's going to fit right in here and if you notice it's just about an eighth of an inch below the frame rail now these are my homemade boxes that's the measurement that's going to work for my boxes um, it should work on standard but you'll just need to measure if you want to have them cut your plexiglass just measure the inside edges from from here to here and then measure it just I, I would give yourself about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch of room below your frame rest you don't want to you don't want to have it in there and then put your piece in and then your plexiglass is sticking up here because now you're you'll either have to trim your plexiglass or your frames are going to be pushing up into the next uh, into the frames above it because your frames are too high so and, it, and it's nice and I know Ace Hardware that's where I had this done and I'm not a salesman for Ace Hardware but they did a pretty good job here and they cut it at, at no charge to me here in western Nebraska in this small town uh, it may be different other place but I wouldn't think it's very much I think I've paid for two of these and for the honey super pieces I think they it cost me about twenty dollars and that was worth it to me just so that I didn't have to invest my time and trying to make accurate cuts with the plexiglass. The next thing we need to do is we've got to install this piece of plexiglass into our hive here. We just need to make sure that we've got all this stuff here, any burr comb, just clean it up a little bit. I've got my drill bit. I've got an eighth of an inch drill bit here, and just some regular just some regular small screws, wood screws, that we're going to be using here. And I've, I've still got my protective coating on my plexiglass. I want to leave that on until I'm done messing around here. But let's go ahead and do this. And what I'm going to do, we'll just hold it down, make sure it's just below your frame rest right here. And you want to be flush with the edge back here in the back. Don't go over just so it's all inside the box. We'll just go ahead and drill here. And be sure don't drill through your brood box. You just want to drill just through the plexiglass and into the wood. Take it nice and slow. We'll do the first two. Just deep enough, probably, I'm probably in the wood a quarter of an inch. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and insert these screws into my holes that I just drilled. Just to kind of make sure it stays in place. there ain't no really no reason to put it all the way in because I'm gonna be taking it out anyway to put remove that piece of protective cover just take it nice and slow you may want to use maybe even a bigger drill bit or a smaller screw just so you don't crack the acrylic That seems to be working really good. Okay. Now that we've got the plexiglass held in place, and it's not going to go anywhere, go ahead and drill the other two in the back.
Okay, now we'll go ahead and remove our screws that we got all four holes drilled. Kind of remember what side you drilled. We'll go ahead and remove this protective covering off of here. Okay. I guess I said both sides. It looks like it's only on one side. Okay, and that's going to be our nice observation window for this beehive. Go ahead and brush the sawdust out of here. And just stick that right back on top of our holes. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put all four screws in the beehive to hold our window in. And we'll go ahead and put them all the way in this time. Don't go real, go tight, but not super tight, because I'm scared if we do, you're gonna crack that acrylic. Good. It can handle a little bit of stress, but boy, not very much. I guess the easiest thing to remember about this, just treat it like glass. Okay, Got three out of four in. Okay, now we're at the point we got us a nice observation window, almost the width of the box, and we should be able to see with, with the help of a flashlight, and we can look in the end of the beehive and not disturb the bees while doing so. And now we'll go ahead and remember this board we cut. We're going to put that right here. That's going to help insulate in the winter time as well, and we'll go ahead and install that. I had my wife stop at the hardware store yesterday and we just got these two and a half inch they're brass hinges and that's they're just a fixed pin hinge they're just these brass hinges just like similar to what's on a door and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just install stall those right here so that we can just flip that beehive up and take a peek at what's going on inside and you don't even have to disturb the bees while doing it. When I'm using these brass screws they're kind of tender when it comes to that uh, head stripping out so I like to drill with this particular set I like to drill about a 5 64th inch pilot hole where I'm gonna be putting the hinge and it just it kind of keeps that it keeps that screw from stripping out on you so we'll just go ahead and get our hinge all lined up drill my pilot holes it ain't gonna matter if you accidentally go through the box on this you definitely don't want to go through your plexiglass
just deep enough so you can get that screw about halfway in there. And then we can start installing our screws. And then we can start installing our screws here. Now we got these last screws we're putting in here. And you got a nice flap on your beehive where you can see inside. Next thing you'll need to do is true up this edge right here so that it'll go into your observation window with ease. And just kind of lay that back and And you're just going to want to put a slight taper on that edge. Just a slight taper right on here and then that way it'll go right in here and you can open and close your hive. Next thing we're going to do is just install a screw right here. We're going to pre-drill same 5 64ths inch bit. And we'll go ahead and put this screw in here so it's a little bit easier to lift up your flap. And now you have a nice little handle right here to grab onto to open your observation window. You have a nice observation window to look inside your beehive without disturbing any of your bees while doing so. You can even check them on a rainy day if you'd like. Thanks for watching my videos.